Okay, here we are. We're back again. This is Talion the Fae Blooded. And here we have a commander, 3 4 flying. Uh, enters the battlefield. Name a number between 1 and uh, 10. Normally the number is 2 in CDH, could be 1 or 3. Or if you want to shut off a specific commander, uh, you could name that commander CMC. But uh, it's normally two. Uh, and then uh, if an opponent uh, plays a spell with that number uh, or has power and toughness equal to that number, they lose two life and I draw a card. So card advantage in the command zone, pretty good. So here, let's do a few hands, see what we can draw see what type of cards are available uh, normally this is a mid-range deck the longer the game goes on the better it is however we have thassa's oracle and demonic consultation in the in the uh deck in addition to uh, a lot of interaction uh, things like blood chief ascension and sheldred can reduce life totals Quite a bit and uh yeah let's draw a few hands and see what we can do here. okay so this is our first seven. Oh, interesting all right so we have an ad nauseum that's nice to see bone masters and chain of vapor uh the jukabog morphic pool and a lotus petal this is pretty good. Uh, we can get a turn one Bowmaster out if we want. Put the Morphic Pool out, Lotus Petal. I'm still not convinced it's the best hand we can get. There's way better hands than this. But it ha definitely has potential. It's unlikely we're going to get our Commander out soon. Uh, we could put... it's Bajukabog is, is in a deck... Uh, for a number of a variety of reasons, but it's one of the only lands that comes into play tapped. I don't like seeing it in my opening hand. Uh, I can normally tutor for it if there's some uh, some sort of breach combo in the graveyard. But uh, I would probably ship this hand back. But in a slower game, you might want to keep it. So let's just take a look at the top cards here. We have Cavern of Souls, Island... Uh, and sheltered. Still nothing really going on here. I'm glad I mulled this back. Okay, let's try again. This is our free mull coming up. So there's a lot of artifact mana in this deck uh, <clears throat> to power out Talion early. What you want to try and do is get him out turn two. Ideally, uh, the earlier he's on the board, the better it'll be for us drawing cards uh, and having our opponents lose life. You can also send Talion at players for three damage. Okay, here's our multi seven. Okay, Vampiric Tutor, Fairy Mastermind, Dark Deal, Dark Ritual, Snapcaster Mage, Arcane Signet, and a Flooded Strand. Has potential. Uh, flooded Strand, Dark Ritual into a Mana Crypt or Mana Vault. Uh, and then we can play our Arcane Signet. Uh, we can do a first turn Dark Deal if we need to, with the Dark Ritual, uh, which can really disrupt players' hands. Uh, this might be a keeper, but I'm worried about the number of lands that we have here. We might uh, be limiting ourselves unless we can resolve that dark deal. So I'd probably ship this back again. But let's take a look and see what our first turn draws. Limdol's Vault, Island, and a Swamp for our third turn. Snuff out fourth turn and a mnemonic betrayal fifth turn. I'm glad I shipped it back. 
So, and this is our malt six. Let's see if we can find something better. All right. Big sleeves on this deck. There are 99 Lazavs in the deck on the back side of these sleeves. This is what the deck used to be. Okay, here's our Malta 6, the Mox Diamond, Force Will, Cyclonic Rift, Cavernous Souls, Notion Thief, Mana Crypt, and Reanimate. Uh, also has potential. If we want to be real greedy, we can pass the Cavern of Souls to the Mox Diamond. Uh, we would probably, if we if we took this hand, we'd probably put Notion Thief back under the library. This is probably a hand I don't think I would like to keep, but potentially we we could if we get another land. Uh, we can put out Tally in turn two. So I would probably ship this back to five, but let's it, see what we get. So Mindstone, Brainstorm, and a Swamp. It would have turned out that this would have been a playable hand. And Lion's Eye Diamond, if Talion dies, discard our hand. So lots of interaction. So we probably could have played it. Uh, it had potential, but let's see what our multi five brings us. I've only been playing Italian for about a month and a half or so. And like I said, this deck was evolved and morphed from Bazaar the Multifarious. Using things like Thassa's Oracle and Dreadnought Graveyard Shenanigans to disrupt the gameplay. Okay, here's our top card. Okay, so this is our Mull to five. We have st uh, Stifle, no, oh, sorry, Counterspell, Force Negation, Subtlety, Snuff Out, Lab Man, Reflecting Pool, Gataxian Pro. Uh, we're on a Mull to five. We don't have a whole lot of choice here. You, we'd probably get rid of the Counterspell and the Lab Man. Uh, we could go to four, try and sculpt a better hand but I'm not too sure if if that would be good. Like, honestly, this does nothing. So, yeah, we, we have to go to four here. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at. We've had some pretty good hands. In a slower pod, we would have kept some of those other hands. So, just testing things out here a little bit. Okay, so this multi four is going to be a couple more, a couple artifacts. Lion's Eye Diamond, get Talion out, right? Okay, let's see what this brings. Scalding Tarn, Lindell's Underground, Brainstone, Brainstorm. Mystic Remora and Arcane Signet. So we're going to take this, obviously. We're going to take the Remora, this one, this one, and I think we should probably take the Arcane Signet, probably over the Mind Stone. Uh, there's an argument to be made not taking the Signet, just taking the Brainstorm, uh, and then we'd put these on the bottom. So it's a choice between these and this one and this one. Let's see what our first couple turns bring. Tainted Pact, 
Jeweled Lotus. We have Talion out now. And a Cavern of Souls. Fourth turn is Verdant Catacombs and a Dark Ritual. So we could we could probably get there with that with that hand, even though that we're on a multi four. Okay, let's do one more hand from seven. And we'll see where that takes us. And it looks like I have a boxed card here. Blood Chief Ascension. All right. But new new hand. Perfect hand. Island, Reflecting Pool, Fluster Storm, Cyclonic Rift, Hybridization, Sensei's Top, and Beseech the Mirror. We're not getting Townian out early, but we definitely have a lot of interaction. Uh, in a slow pod, you might want to take this. Play the Island first, Sensei's Top, uh, and at least we have some sort of interaction. I would mull as a, as a free mull, uh, but let's just see what we get here. Yogmoss will... Mastermind, Sauring, and an Island. It would have been an okay hand in a slower pod. But let's take the Malt to 7. See where that takes us on our free mall. Okay. Here we go again. Free mall. Again, we have Sensei's Top. Brainstorm, Cyclonic Rift, Force of Negation, Counterspell, Yogmos Will, Passes Oracle, No Land. It's an easy hand to ship back for six. So, multi six. Sometimes that happens. You don't necessarily get what you want. You need to try and aggressively mull deck to try and get some past artifact mana out so you can cast Talion. As same thing with, with other high powered or CAH decks. Let's just try this again. Okay, so we have Ottawa. Cyclonic Rift, Mox Opal, Sol Ring, Swan Song, Cataxian Probe, and a Swamp. So this hand has potential. Uh, we definitely take the lands. Uh, I think we should take the Mox Opal and the Sol Ring, the Swan Song, and this. Uh, it, there's a, there's an argument to be made that we don't need the Swan Song. Uh, this early, we want to try and get uh, a sort another artifact source uh, to turn on our Mox Opal. But uh, you know, we can take a look at our a person's hand, get some card draw. Uh, I think having Cyclonic Rift it would be better uh, than the Swan Song at the moment, uh, just so that we could uh, interact a little bit. It's a toss up between these two, but we definitely want the Gataxian Probe so we can draw a card. So, you take your choice. Uh, let, let's say I take this one, so I'm put this back. Okay, we have Snapcaster, Pact, Vault, and Land, and our fifth turn is Cavern of Souls. So we could definitely have Talion out, be interacting at that point. Not the end of the world. There you have it. And that is Italian. Uh, pretty good. I like this. A lot of powerful cards in this deck.